There's no one like you that satisfies, that satisfies my soul. Oh, you know me through and through, and yet you love me the same. Oh, God, how can I hide from your love? Oh, my soul is satisfied.
do without you, Jesus? Preserve me, O oh God. Keep me in you. You are my refuge. God, I just come before you as I am. Wanting nothing but, wanting nothing but your presence, oh, 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 Jesus, apart from you I have no good thing. Jesus, I take refuge in you. I hide myself in you. Oh, I have nothing to hide from you, but I will take myself as naked as possible before you. You will see it all. hidden from you, my God, my God. You know everything, and yet you pour out your love abundantly.
Jesus, you are my Lord. Oh, Jesus, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. Oh, Jesus, you are my Lord. Oh, Jesus, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. Jesus, you are good. You are good to me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, you are good. You are good to me.
after other lovers I wanna hate what you hate and love what you love Oh my heart sometimes and not in so I play so Jesus would you guide me every step of the way Lead me to follow you Lead me to love you more Lead me to follow you 
Jesus, I know what I am waiting for. 
Thank you. 
trust the Lord who gives me counsel in the night, in the night also my heart instructs me to walk in the way that the Lord leads. Oh, I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not be shaken. have said the Lord always before me. Because he is my right hand, I shall not be shaken. He is holding me, setting my feet the solid rock I will never be shaken again no more I look back at the times when I was lost I would sway back and forth whenever waves come rushing against me. But I will not be shaken for my Savior is for me. I will not be shaken for my Savior, he holds me. I will not be shaken for my feet are placed in the solid rock of Jesus. I will not be shaken for my Savior is for me. I will not be shaken for my Savior, He's holding me. He's always before me, guiding me. I will not be shaken for my Savior is walking with me walking with me he's standing by my side guiding me i will not be shaken for my savior is for me I 
will not be shaken for my Savior he calls me I will not be shaken for my Savior is for me I will not be shaken for my Savior he holds me For my heart is glad and my whole being rejoices. If for my heart is glad, my whole being rejoices. If for my heart is glad, my whole being rejoices.
presence. We have fullness of joy. With every moment, Lord God, that we meet you and we see you, we feel your presence. Lord God, you make us new from the inside out. We thank you, Jesus. Remaining this place of presence, we're going to shift into a time of intercession same joy and that same hope that we have in the work that he's doing in us and renewing us. Um, tonight we'll be praying for the nation of Israel. So in the last couple of months, there have been a lot of tensions and violence in the Gaza Strip, uh, initially triggered by the killings of three Israeli teenagers in June. And after months of violence, they have decreed a 72-hour ceasefire for humanitarian reasons, which actually started today at 8 a.m. their time, be 2 p.m. Korea time. And so this is a very crucial time for, for us to pray for this nation uh, because regardless of what our political views are regarding this complex issue, um, God's heart and his purposes for this nation, they haven't been nullified. You know, in the Gospels, Jesus weeps over Israel, longing to gather them as a hen gathers her brood under her wings. And it's with this heart tonight that we will pray for them. And we will specifically pray for promises spoken over Israel in passages in Isaiah 60 to 62. Father, you are a faithful God and you are a Prince of Peace. Your word prophesies over Israel that violence shall no more be heard in your land, devastation or destruction within your borders. You shall call your walls salvation and your gates praise. Lord, we ask you to hasten this day, to hasten the coming of peace, when violence will no more be heard in Israel. May the 72-hour ceasefire be a prophetic sign to what you want to do permanently in this nation. Let your peace reign. May the same voice that stilled the storm be the voice that stills the violent conflict that has been going on for generations. Raise up walls of salvation and build up gates of praise. Let's pray for Israel.
prosperity over Israel not because they have merited it but because you show mercy on whom you will show mercy and your promises will not return to you void may we see your hand at work in tangible ways that your blessings wouldn't just be abstract but they would be manifest in the natural as well we pray for your hand of healing over the land we pray for financial prosperity that their testimony would bring glory to the God who is mighty to save we proclaim Isaiah 61 7 over Israel tonight instead of your shame there shall be a double portion instead of dishonor they shall rejoice in their lot. therefore in their land they shall possess a double portion they shall have everlasting joy let's pray
servant, their sacrificial lamb, the seed of David, the root of Jesse would be highlighted as your spirit breathes fresh life over these promises they've held on to for so long. Encounter them through visions, through dreams, through missionaries and media that their joy would be made complete in you. We pray for salvation tonight. Let's pray.
Israel. We speak forth this promise from Isaiah 61, 11. For as the earth brings forth its sprouts, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to sprout up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to sprout up before all the nations. Lord, may what you have decreed in your word be so. We say yes and amen in Christ Jesus. We pray that you'd pour out your spirit over this nation, that you turn a nation that you wept over into a nation you rejoice over, that it would become a missionary sending nation, a blessing to the nations of the earth, an agent of transformation and a light for all. We speak forth, arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Let's pray. Israel, you have a hope for them in the future. We come into agreement with all these things. We ask God that you would intervene. We ask God that you would be their savior, their mighty rock, their fortress, their sun and their shield. We thank you, Jesus. We pray, God, that you would reveal your son tonight. Lord God, that people that have been waiting to know who Jesus is, people that have been waiting for their Messiah for generations, they would know Lord God, that you are for them. They would know what you've done on the cross for them. Lord God, and they may share in your joy. Lord God, in the salvation. We thank you, Lord. We pray all these things in your name. Amen.
God, we thank you that there is power to renew, power to make all things new in your blood, in your name, God. And Father, we just thank you that tonight you are making things new. You are doing a new thing. You are bringing life into dead places, God, in Israel. You're bringing order into chaos, God. We thank you, Father, that your love for Israel is bigger than the attacks and um, all the all the uh, chaotic things that's happening in Israel right now. Father, we thank you that your love for Israel stands strong, God, and it is unshakable. So, Lord, we just speak forth these things over Israel tonight. And, and Lord, we thank you that truly there's, there's no one like you, God. There's no one we'd rather um, be with, Father. Um, and, Jesus, we say that you are our chosen portion. You are our cup. And you hold our lot, Lord. And you are our beautiful inheritance. And in you, we are fully satisfied. Lord, we thank you for your presence tonight. And we say, Jesus, we want more of you each day, Lord, that we will grow in the knowledge and understanding of who you are in our lives, God, that we would have more room for you, Lord, until you take all of us, God. So we give you our fresh surrender to you tonight. And Jesus, we thank you um, that you are well aware of every circumstance in our life, God. And that you are well pleased with your sons and daughters. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, I hope that um, you are blessed and that you, God, um, to really speak to the Lord tonight and to hear his voice. Um, and this is a place where we encounter with him uh, we encounter his presence and we can hear his voice. Of course, you can hear his voice elsewhere, but it's a special place here as we just gather and corporately seek his face. Um, so, yeah, continue to pray for Israel. Um, it's something that we all want to grow in knowledge and understanding of his heart for Israel. So, continue to keep Israel in prayer. And if you're free tomorrow, come on out. Tomorrow morning, we have another session here uh, in the morning, uh, and starting at 9.30. So, yeah. See you guys. Good night. <laughs>